Which of the most expensive fast food items are worth it? Let's talk about that. Good. Mythical morning. Blank dollar foot long. Five dollar foot long. Wrong. Eight dollar foot long? Ten dollar foot long. Nope. Fifteen dollar foot long. Thirty dollar foot long. Actually, I don't know, but I do know that it's significantly more than it used to be. In fact, the prices on fast food menu items across the board have skyrocketed, Mm. especially on some of the more extravagant creations. Could you imagine if we gathered up the most expensive fast food items and put them under the good old mythical microscope? I've been imagining it for years. It's time for the Fast Food Bling Boys are making it rain at the drive-thru. That's us, we're the Fast Food Bling Boys. Okay, numbnuts, you're going to be tasting the highest priced menu items from six of the most popular fast food restaurants, and then you'll try to match them to their correct menu price. If you fail to match at least four, there will be extensive consequences that I cannot get into at this time. There always are. We are starting with Wendy's most expensive menu item, the pretzel baconator, which they describe as half pound of fresh, never frozen beef, American cheese, six strips of crispy applewood, smoked bacon, ketchup, and mayo, behemoth you know and love, but now with our legendary pretzel bun, you can't top a baconator, so we twisted it. This is the most expensive item at Wendy's? Wow. Apparently. Boy, that's a- Meat's expensive, bacon's expensive. Six slices. Pretzels is expensive. Yep. It is heavy. How does it taste? Mmm. I've always liked a baconator. I like this. But the pretzel bun is not an improvement. I M O H. Yeah, I M H O. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Unless you said, in my opinion, humbly. That's what it is. Now listen. Back here, we have prices. And when this came in, I noticed something. The prices are all over the place! Like, this is $12.99, it's $10.49, $17.79. This is hurting you, isn't it? I can't figure out which direction it goes. Because this is the cheapest of the most expensive, $8.29. This is the most expensive of all of them, $17.79. This this is a random placement. Random. All right. But I think this is- What am I gonna do? I believe that this is in the $10 range. It's the most expensive thing at Wendy's, too. Yeah, but there's eight, there's 10, there's 10, there's, ten, there's t- look, there's three tens. I know, so you're feeling $10? It's not $17. There's no way it's $17. It's not $13 It's either. not 13 Well, how much is a normal Baconator? A normal Baconator is probably $9. seven sixty one. So you're, you're at ten forty nine right now. Let's, okay, like, we can, we can like move that. these around. I like Let, that. All right, let's leave it here at 1049. And um, yeah, it's, I don't there's love There's so the many good burgers now. I just gotta say, the way that there's been a smash burger revolution in LA, mm-hmm. it's very difficult to, to go, go, through get a drive-thru. go get a drive through burger. It's just real hard to convince yourself unless it's Shake Shack or In-N-Out. Sorry to say, guys. Move on. That's where we're at. Next. <laughs> Next up is Subway's most expensive menu item, a footlong size The Beast, which they describe as the sandwich that makes hunger fear going to sleep every night. That's uh, that's a good one. <laughs> hunger fear. Oh, I wanted to I wanted to do a little thing for you. Do it for me then. There you go, Rhett. I did it for you. That's that's my half. I see tomatoes on the other hand. Well, that, you did one to turn it around. You did one. So, it's got... This can't be expensive, look at that. It, it just Sorry. looks like a normal sub. I mean, it... I don't know it, if my hunger is gonna be able to go to sleep Roast tonight. beef, turkey... It claims to have half a pound of meat and salami, two times the amount of the toppings. Pepperoni. It, it doesn't look like that. It doesn't have twice the amount of toppings. Well, it's supposed to. But maybe when you ask an employee to make the beast, they're like, really? I doubt it. I mean, it's got all the meats Hmm. that Subway has to offer, I believe. This is the best meat that they have, the pepperoni. I'm just, when is the last time that Subway wowed us? 
You know, come on, Subway, wow me. Come on, pull, pull me back in. I'm, I'm not, I'm pulling for you. I'm not, but I'm saying that I am. If a foot long was five dollars, five dollar foot at long. At some point, that's a joke. In the past five years, maybe, and then twice the toppings. Well, it increased probably to six fifty, maybe seven. Yeah, but five dollar foot longs aren't five dollars anymore. That doesn't exist. Right, but I'm just yeah, exactly. I'm saying they're seven fifty now. Okay. And then I'm saying, then you, you do double the stuff. That? This is in the. Uh, this is I mean, either the, this is either the this eight could dollar be the one twenty nine, or we move the baconator to ten seventy and put it at ten forty nine. Well, I don't. I just don't know what the cheapest, most expensive thing we're gonna have is. Oh, that's hard to think about. But I feel like this, cheapest, most expensive. This is this. This is the place where it should start. Yeah, I just subway. It's Subway. It's it's supposed to be cheap. But I'll also do this. I'll move the I'll move the Wendy's to ten seventy. Why'd you do that? Cause you cause you 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 titillated me. Oh, I don't want to titillate you. you. But you did. I only want to titillate myself. Okay. You're such a dirty person. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? I'm okay. I'm comfortable with my sexuality. It's not it's not dirty to do it, but it's dirty to talk about it. Titillate just means to to provoke. Uh, a sense of anticipatory pleasure. It doesn't mean I, I don't have to touch anything. I can titillate myself with simply a look. All right, fine. I'm moving it back. That's what you get. I've moved it back. I can just. Uh, I can. Just, I've moved it back. I can back. just pass myself in the mirror and titillate myself. Oh gosh. <laughs> Next up is Taco Bell's most expensive menu item: a cantina chicken bowl. Oh, this is new on the cantina menu. This is supposed to be something that's healthier for you. So you've got these, it, it's their imitation of Chipotle, right? Chipotle bowl. Ooh, what, why is it dangling like that? Cheese, bro. Okay. Bro, bro. <clears throat> I didn't know there was cheese in it. Um, yeah. Utterly flavorless. Oh, that's not bad. We well, don't think about Chipotle, and it might not be, but if you do. I'm just thinking about Taco Bell. I'm thinking about things that would be at Taco Bell, not in a tortilla, just in a, in a bowl. I mean, that's a disappointment, man. If you, if you want that, go to Chipotle. But Chipotle and Taco Bell, I don't think they're playing in the same, it's not the same ball game. I mean, but this is the cheapest thing up here of the most expensive It's gotta stuff. be the 829, right? I mean, it's cheaper than the Subway thing. It has to be. I agree with that. So if we move that to 1070, or we move it to 1049, we move that there. Maybe even there. And then we move the... The burgers are square. I feel great about this. Don't forget that. Does that inform the pricing? Well... Or just the hazards? A square and a circle next to each other that are the same distance across, there's more meat in the square. We know this. Yeah, there's more meat in the square. More meat in the square. That's what they almost, that almost was their slogan. More meat in the square. More meat in the square. And then it became, where's the beef? Hey, you know, we have a podcast together. It's called Ear Biscuits, where two lifelong friends talk about life for a long time. Boop, boop, boop. And we wanted to remind you that every single episode lives right here on YouTube, mm -hmm. on the Ear Biscuits channel, new videos every Wednesday. Uh-huh, we get into it, so get into it with us. And you can call us. Yes, please. All right. Jack in the box, and this is a bacon double smashed jack. Oh. I've seen this advertised so on their windows. They're trying to do what, they're trying to address the thing that I said earlier in this episode. Yeah, they did. And I don't know if they have based on just looking at it. I mean, is this a smash burger? What? Well, it's so hard. Kinda? Yeah, I mean, it's so hard to get that like really, really flattened out thing, you know, it's just a lot to ask of in a fast food process. It's, they don't have time to, to smash. But it's pretty, I mean, it's got a lot of, what do you call that where they start breaking apart at the end? Oomph. Oh yeah, like Flip the spot. lace, the lace, lace on the side, they yeah. They want some lace, but it's not happening quite. This yet. is apparently a limited time item, and it also has a new boss sauce mm. on it. Hmm. I don't know what that means. It's not as good as a, as a regular smash burger. It's pretty good for a fast food, fast food burger. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like that boss sauce. It's very orange. 
There's a lot of meat here. That might be a half pound of meat. This might be the same amount of meat that's on that Baconator. And there is I think it's a little less bacon. Right. I think that this is putting me Lower than Wendy's because you're saying boom, boom. Like the cost of ingredients. Yes, because they're all buying them from the same place. It's not like they got cheaper cows somewhere, right? <laughs> so the cost of adding a pig to that one is putting it up 19 cents. There is a pig on this one. Yeah, there is. It's a ba it's bacon. But there's more right. pig on this one. Oh, there you and go. can we use the pork term? Pork. Um. This I, feels, I'm, just, I'm really curious what, what what's going to be at the seventeen well, seventy nine. Like, if nothing crazy comes out, we're going to have to completely reorient. We're just, we're really underestimating how expensive things can be in fast food land. Maybe we don't know. We're just really shy to put anything here or here. That's a problem for us. I mean, we, but we're admitting it. But we are openly admitting it because we're both in therapy and we want. To get better. We're having a real tough time, guys. You know what? We're not perfect. I'm really freaking out on the inside, if we, you can't tell. We got our hang-ups. Yeah. This is one of Panda Express's most expensive menu items, a honey walnut shrimp bowl. It's tied with the black pepper Angus steak bowl and the oh. firecracker shrimp bowl. But oh. we like this one the best. So, look at that candied walnut. And then you've got the shrimp. I'm always tempted to get this, but then I, I'm i like, oh, that's too expensive. I gotta get Is that enormous. really the reason you don't get it? No, the real reason is because I don't go there. Okay, okay. Thanks for being real with us. Um, I like walnuts, though. How many fast food places have walnuts, period? Maybe on a salad? I'd say less than 12%. At Wendy's? There's no way this is 1779. I'll tell you that right now. Because it's mostly just rice. Rice. But I mean, it, but shrimp. Once you get through this stuff, this whole bottom part here, nothing but rice. There's no shrimp hidden down in there. But shrimp are expensive because they're so hard to catch. Have you ever tried to chase one down? You got to use both hands. Yeah. Well, you really got to have two guys, or or like two anybody. Right? Gotta, it doesn't have to be two guys. It's just gotta, like two people, right? One, one guy that's like... You really could have one person and a well-trained dog, to be honest with yeah. you. Yeah, I'll be the dog. That's swimming. I'm like... Right. I'm swim, I'm I'm sending the shrimp to and you. You need a shrimp glove. Do we have one? Her. Do we have a shrimp glove? Do we have a shrimp glove? Okay, I'll pan a mine. It just is a regular glove. That's sort of advertised as a shrimp glove. Okay. And it's a color that doesn't scare them. And basically, it's like that. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Well, basically, that's how it works. I really thought. Did you see that how hard we had to do? It took about one minute to get one shrimp. I thought Pan Express. This is a candidate for this, but there's not enough shrimp. No to way. Justify that cost. No way. If it's seventeen seventy nine. But we feel good about thirteen. Thirteen. Well, what what would be more than thirteen? This is shrimp. Maybe that pretzel. Baconator. Nobody's gonna pay $13 for a burger at Wendy's. No one is going to do that. Burgers are all in the $10 range. I'm just making stuff up at this point. There is a there is a perception that you should pay a little bit more for Panda Express. There's no drive-through. Oh gosh, we lost one. <laughs> and finally, it's Burger King's most expensive menu item. A triple whopper. Okay. It is heavy. Link, we we are so wrong so far, man. Well, you're the one who's saying a burger can't be over ten dollars. Uh, I was wrong. Good gosh. Does There's yours so... have tomato? Yep. Ah, oh, so does mine. Does it have way too much mayonnaise because it's from Burger, burger King? King? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I mean, how do they consistently do that? Just it's like a lettuce mayo slurry. Do they just have a vat of that? Like a mayo drenched lettuce I vat. I like it though. Hot lettuce, good. Burger King just tastes like Burger King. It doesn't taste like anything else. It's so specific. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going in on this thing. That's a lot of meat, man. Having tasted all of the most expensive items from these restaurants, I'm not impressed. I mean, the most expensive things are not the best things based on what I've experienced today. 
Um, I don't disagree with you. This is too much Burger King meat concentrated too too tightly. It's huge. It might be. Is it more meat? Why would you do this to yourself? Of course, the there's no cheese on it because we forgot to order it with cheese. Because that's what we always do when we're humans. Well, and then we're uh, disappointed. actually, we we didn't want to put any extras on anything on today's episode. Yeah, but a triple all about whopper whatever's... with cheese would be more expensive. Exactly, which is why we couldn't put cheese and other things on everything else. I wasn't critiquing us. Uh, I was critiquing Burger King by making something default without cheese, and that uh, irks me. Which okay. one has more that's meat? Because okay, this is has. Circle meat that's three and but big, wider and thinner. Bigger circles, smaller this squares. This has taller, fatter squares. Triple Whopper has more meat. Yeah, think, but yeah, but it doesn't have. It's well, for, it's not seventeen dollars. No, 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 no. The shrimp seventeen. The shrimp has to be seventeen dollars. It's got to be. It's shrimp. Something They're hard to catch. You saw here. how it was. That right there with the walnuts. I mean, give me a break. You think that? Do you think that? I think that the baconator is. More expensive than the triple whopper. Do, by, you, do you think that it's uh, two dollars and ten cents more expensive? Because that's what you're about to say. Do you think the beast? Do you think that Subway thinks that they can charge thirteen dollars for for that thing? Hell no. Are the burgers all in the ten dollar range? Which would make sense. <sighs> what I'm saying is, you the, think that that burger? You think that the baconator is thirteen dollars? I, I think. How that, could they do that? I think that they know that they need to price this punitively. So to I'm keep people away from it. Yep, I'm going back. I'm going back on what I said earlier, and I'm saying. Well, I already agree with you that it's more because it's more meat. Well, I have a different reason, which is the one I said, but we're agreeing for different reasons, right? Well, let's think about this for a second. Yes, yes. Do you yes. want to know how many you have right? Before you rearrange well, for your final lock Yeah, if you want, if you yeah, if you're willing to tell us. It, yeah. You have two correct. Oh, okay. Only two? All right. So we've got this right. We got that right. And I think that somehow How did how could anything be cheaper? All right. Only thing we got right are these two. Yep. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now. This is twelve ninety nine, because it because of idiots. And then Okay, and then these just switch like this. And so what that does? No, no, no. Hold on. You just put you put the triple whopper lower than both of those. Wrong. Yeah. So now we want the jack in the box. Jack in the box. Oh, jack, jack in the, the box. box there. Jack was in the it, box. Hold on. Was it, just, was it just there? Uh -uh. It wasn't there. <laughs> and then. And then that's the. This is the whop. This is the whopper. That's the baconator. We are locked in. Okay. I'm going to reveal from cheapest all the way up. Okay. okay. Eight twenty nine is our cheapest one, and it is Taco Bell's canteen yeah, chicken there bowl. Yeah, Ten forty nine is Wendy's pretzel baconator. Holy moly! Well, I gotta eat crow, which is a good deal these days. Ten seventy is. Panda Express's Honey Walnut Shrimp Bowl. Whoa, 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 whoa. Something's going to be seventeen seventy nine. That's a, if it's Subway, if it's Subway, don't you do it. <laughs> Ten eighty nine is Jack in the Box Bacon Double Smash Jack. Twelve ninety nine is. Burger King's Triple Whopper, which means seventeen seventy nine is Subway's Foot Long the Beast, and you only got one correct. Okay. Subway. Okay, Subway. Come on, Subway. Pull up a chair. You do it. You're so consistently disappointing. What? What in the actual hell, Subway? What in the actual fiery people screaming and gnashing of teeth? Hell, are you thinking? I am so sorry for you. I'm insulted for me. <laughs> what are you doing with all these profits? Do you think that not making better stuff? Who do you think is gonna buy this? What? 1779 what? Um, and I'm I'm sorry to say that because you only got one correct, 
we have the world's most expensive trip to CVS receipt that I'm going to need you to read in good mythical more. I, just, I don't know if I can. We're just a bit torn up. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, my name's Jeff. I'm Kaylee, and this is Millie. And we're enjoying an awesome charcuterie board. And, and it's, it's time, time to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of, of mythicality. I mean, it was pretty awesome. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us discover what crazy expensive things are being sold in your city in Good Mythical More. And upon the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. A lot of people don't anticipate what happened in the apocalypse. The number of things that you will be burning that you never thought you would burn. And, and, and let me say, cards from your kids is at the top of the list.